What's up guys, your boy Gus back in with another video. Not that that's so. Sorry about that. But yes, I wanted to be here why the little bit's gonna happen. But today is the release date for the new murder and so so. I see that and I'm gonna more be stuff to it a bit. I could have made this line sheet, but I didn't have enough time to set it up. So I'm gonna be here for a bit. This bit might be cut out. We, we just start off with the maybe. Five seconds, okay, it's gonna start now. It's sorry about the cut, I just didn't want you guys to wait anymore. Anyways, not talking, let's see. Oh yeah, audio. I think this should be fine with the audio, I hope, so I can still talk a little bit. <laughs> I can't hold it any longer. Sure you can. We can't die from oxygen deprivation, remember? But it still feels like I'm gonna die. Try not thinking about it. Or you could toughen up. I want to see what your funny cartoon body does. Hey, take it easy. Oh, take it easy. That's you. All right. Here I go. <sighs> All right, we've entered the blue zone. Hey, there's something new. Okay, we're getting red. Oh, orange. Yellow. Green. Whoa, look! Now she's turning blue! She was already blue. <laughs> huh. Guess the hue shift just gets faster. Why am I the one doing this? Why not one of you guys? Because something different happens with each person. For instance, Kinger starts glowing, Ragatha's hair noodles stick up, Gangle's mask starts spinning, and Zubal turns straight. My limbs straighten up and fuck off. What about you? That, that was actually a good joke. Because he's a coward. I want to keep the mystery alive. What do you, the viewers, think it is? Will you stop doing that? Why is everybody just standing around when there's adventure to be had? Today's adventure is the mystery of Mildenhall Manor! That's right, this big spooky mansion has been rumored to be filled to the brim with paranormal activity! It's up to you to solve the house's deep mysteries and capture all the ghoulish ghost activity you can! And for the first time ever, you can! <laughs> Where's Zubal? I made this adventure really cool and uh, mature, just for them! What? The NPCs aren't going to become self-aware in this one, right? How should I know? I'm not the boss. Oh, wait, yes, I am. <laughs> anyway, everybody into the fractal noise. It's adventuring time. Oh, 
Oh, this place is spooky. I wonder how hard Kane's gonna go with the scare factor. I hope this adventure doesn't end up being another horrible nightmare. I'm not really a fan of horror, and I don't really handle jump scares that well. Boop! <laughs> Come on, that wasn't even scary. What? You scared of the vacuum cleaner, too? Hey, be nice to her. She's had a rough couple of days. Her and everyone else. Right, Gangle? Does anybody hear that? Is this inspired by Luigi's Mansion? I feel like it is. Hey, I'm this is very Luigi Ma Mansion inspired. Why won't they go back in? <laughs> I remember my first wild take. I don't know why they're not retracting, though. That didn't happen for me. Before you continue on your adventure, you have to choose which door you're gonna go through. The door on the left is the normal door. Rated wow for all ages. The door on the right is the really scary door. Rated hot for mature zoobles only. It's up to you to do Why the jacks? What? I thought we were supposed to capture all the ghosts. Uh, which door should we choose? Hmm, not sure. Let's try this out. Don't worry, Kangle, I'll get it for you. <laughs> oh, that's the scary door. Zubo, come on out. We're about to get, get some Zubo. We're going to get Zubo. Oh, oh I my know. God. What the, could you have done that the whole time? Zubo, I, I just want to get to the bottom of why you keep skipping all my amazing adventures. You could end up really hurting Bubbles' feelings. Uh, Bubbles' feelings? Uh, enough about Bubbles' feelings. How about your feelings? I... So, what's on your mind, Zubal? I would rather not. <laughs> That's hilarious. Go on. No, I mean, I've already told you what my problem is. You just never remember because... Oh, never mind. My mind is a beeswax polished coconut. Nothing ever escapes these cakes. So what can I do to make my adventures more appealing to you? See, this is exactly what I'm talking about. All you're thinking about is your adventures. It has nothing to do with the adventures. It's more just... Ugh, forget it. You're probably not even listening. Zool, look at this cool bee I drew. Uh, wh where are we? Yeah, I really can't pause it all because this is a premiere, so I really can't pause it. So, yeah. Oh, that's. No. I wonder what this thing is. My name is Baron Theodore Mildenhall. Hunting has been a hobby of mine for as long as I can remember, although one could say it eventually became more of an obsession. The creature you see before you is one I've been pursuing for years. Not quite a man, but not quite an animal. Something unholy, something evil. I took it upon myself to spend every waking moment doing all I could to protect my family from the creature, hoping that when I'd eventually killed it, I would be freed from this awful feeling, this inescapable dread. I was wrong. You know, I'm starting to think... How about we try to find a way back up to the others? Oh, I love Peter. <laughs> I love him. Okay, cool, that's great. I love these adventures. We could always ride this thingy up. It's locked. It's locked, of course. It's locked. I love that it's locked. <laughs> Tuesday, December 4th. Although I had shot the creature multiple times in its vitals and severed its head to keep as a prize on my wall, my troubles were just beginning. I took my eyes off the body for what felt like only a minute. And when I looked back, the body was gone. 
the creature was not dead, and it would be back to reclaim what I'd taken from it. If anyone is listening to this, all I ask of you is one thing. Do not let the head out of your sight. You have been warned. Well, this is some rather inconvenient lore placement. I got it! Oh, oh I love the eyes. I love the eyes. This is some rather inconvenient darkness. <laughs> what was that? Was that you? No. Oh, wait. You mean me grabbing you right now? Yeah, that was me. Is this your hand? Uh, uh, that's my eye. Yes, but which eye? I really don't think that matters. Will you stop touching my eye? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> what happened? I just remembered a really funny joke. Uh, you, you, why did you scream then? Maybe it wasn't actually that funny. Oh my god. I, think I love that it's a unique animation. And slowly make our way back into the trophy room. Uh, sounds fine to me. What's what? That. It's probably just magnets. Or a boat. A boat? Whatever the case, I think we should be completely quiet. I... Okay, yeah, I agree. You know, you're really hit and miss with these things sometimes. Wait. There's a fly in here. Don't you think that's making a lot of noise? Oh, God, there is a fly. And gotcha! I think I got him. I can't see my hands. What the hell? Oh my god. Wait a minute. Is this the worst inspired as well? Could you speak up? I couldn't quite make that out. Tommy! I think this might be the creature from the tapes! This is so horrible. I do not use my adventures to torture my guests. Any torment I inflict is 100% accidental, like any good war criminal. We weren't even talking about that. I really couldn't give less of a crap about the adventures. Then what is your problem, Zubal? I'm trying my best to remember, but both you and my brain won't tell me. It's me, remember? I don't like myself i hate this body i hate all these stupid removable pieces i just want to find something that feels good oh yeah now i remember why i couldn't remember it's because that problem is already solved simply swap out your undesirable zoobal parts for better ones i've been trying to find parts i like since the day i got here so back to the adventures forget it forget it just forget it forget what Kane, nobody likes your stupid adventures. Ha <laughs> ha, good ones. I love this. She was just the most just relatable one. Anything. Jax just likes to fuck with everybody. Gangle's too shy to speak up. Kinger's insane. And, and Pomni, she looks traumatized every time she comes back from one. Oh, Zubal, Zubal, Zubal. Making adventures is my art. It's all I exist to do. All I'm good at. And, uh, what you're saying could imply that I'm bad at the only thing I'm good at, and that... <laughs> that'd be... Uh, whose therapy session is this again? Oh, yeah! We need to get to the bottom of your behavioral issues! I'm gonna show you some ink blots, and you're gonna say the first word that comes to your mind. I'm just sorry to enjoy Super more because this episode. This Super is very really interesting oh in this world. Where are we now? I'm not sure. A cellar of some kind. Things 
have gotten far worse than I could ever have imagined. My paranoia had driven me to the point where I was no longer the protector my wife and theoretical children needed. Jumping at every shadow, every noise, I ended up shooting the love of my life, mistaking her for the creature. It's ironic, isn't it? In my attempts to protect her, I ended up becoming the monster myself. Now I wait down in my cellar, no longer having anything to protect but my own soul. If nothing else, I will slay the beast that took everything from me. How's about we take his gun? Yeah, sounds good to me. Please don't come. Okay, I won't. Okay, that was actually pretty funny. Got two shots. That was pretty fun. Let's make them count. Uh, yeah. Stay behind me. Just one. Uh, Kinger, I, I think we may have a problem this way too. Just leave it to me. I can handle this. Oh, shit, Kinger. Well, that wasn't so bad. Which is what I would be saying if I didn't know that the creature was actually one of God's angels. What? And anyone who brings harm to it will be dragged down into the cold, spiraling pits of hell where my soul resides. I apologize, dear listener, but I need a living host in order to escape the Hall of the Damned, and your bodies will be my only means of doing so. Now wait, how did he record this if he was in hell? <laughs> I hope you're ready. Because the next breath you take down there will be your last, and your bodies will belong to me. Let go of me! <laughs> I hate this stupid adventure! They ever get more vim? There you go. Mmm, good tea. Sorry again about your husband killing you and everything. Oh, you know how men are. Always having the silliest priorities. <laughs> Don't I know it. <laughs> if your friends see him, I only hope he doesn't bore them to death with his endless monologues. That man could turn a 57-second story into a Greek tragedy. I'll be sure to ask them next time I see him. Thanks again for the tea. I had a really nice time here. <laughs> Don't mention it. Feel free to visit any time. Definitely! It's actually pretty great that it happens to hunt up Jack's with a friend Congratulations, Stacey, yes. my little ironclad waffle cones! You've taken the pacifist route, and you should be proud of what good people you are! Unfortunately, we still need to wait until your other teammates finish their adventure before I can grant you permission to leave! I wonder how long that'll be. Not really typical of what you'd think hell would be. We are literally in hell right now! Hell! Of course I'd be in hell. How could I not be in literal hell right now? Just try to stay calm. I'm sure Kane included a way to escape. Hold on. Let me try something. I like how you just threw a sign in there. Hey! There's actually a staircase down there. It could be a way out. Maybe it'll work for us since we still have our bodies? Though I'm worried about what that tape said earlier. I'm just gonna try going fast. Wait, Pommy! Oh. Oh, 
Jesus, how strong is Kano? Get out of you damn evil souls! How's your wife, Kano? Hey, you all right there? No. I'm guessing the souls are attracted to living things. Just want a vessel to be able to leave with. Man. Seven years of computer science for this, huh? huh? Why? Every day I spend here is one nightmare after the next. I knew it would end up like this. He, he just wants me to suffer. I really am in hell. Don't say that. You're not in... Well, I, I guess we are technically in... Forget about that. How about we just relax for oh, a bit? Oh, is trying to be a nice person. Kinger is so innocent, he really is. <laughs> this episode has really made me care more about Kinger and Sue. It was my fault we went down this path, wasn't it? I'm really sorry for that. Why have you been acting so different lately? <laughs> I have, haven't I? I'm normally not too good with memories. But being surrounded by darkness always brings me back to a certain time. Right after my Story. wife had abstracted. I don't recall the exact string of events, but we both ended up in the fort together. And it was dark. The darkness seemed to calm her down a bit. The harsh, jagged edges smoothed out and she didn't seem aggravated anymore. She wasn't the same as before, but she was calm enough to touch one last time before she got sent to the cellar. I'm always taken back to that moment when engulfed in darkness. You had a wife? Like, here in the circus? Yeah. She was funny, creative, really into entomology. I used to hate bugs, but... She somehow got me to like them. It's not the most cheerful memory, but it's one I at least have control over. I know how I can feel in this circus. Sometimes it all just feels pointless. Yeah. But it's not. Not if you have people who care about you. Good memories can do a lot. Hold on to them. And cherish the people around you. Man, this episode you never know is about to make me gone. cry. Oh, man. In this world, the worst thing you can do is make someone think they're not wanted or loved. I'm glad you're here with me. You know, I've been thinking about that last tape. He said, the next breath you take down there will be your last. Maybe we can get through if we don't breathe. I'm not very good at holding my breath. Well, how about we try not thinking about it? Uh, if we leave... And we go back to the circus. You're just gonna go back to being crazy. You're not gonna remember any of this, are you? Don't worry about me. As long as you remember it, no things will be okay. You're very strong, Pommy. And I know you'll be able to get through this. Just hold on to me. We'll get through it together. You ready? Said the beginning that we care of this whole thing is where people go. Okay, uh, go back to the beginning. 
Oh, Pomni, Kinger, are you guys okay? Was it scary? I'm fine, actually. What happened up here? Uh, don't worry about that. Pomni was very brave. At least I think she was. Were you? Something like that. Hey, Ragatha. Yeah? I just want to say... Thanks for always being concerned about me. I feel like, through everything, I haven't really been appreciative enough about that. Uh, oh, thank you, Pomni. I just want to make sure you're doing all right. You know, we care about you. Did you remember to get my comedy mask? And, and now I'm, I'm just starting to wonder <laughs> of course if the the was, was even a real direction at all. Whoopsie daisy, looks like everybody completed the adventure and they're coming home. Quick, pretend we weren't having a therapy session. Okay. Welcome back, my meowing milkmaids. Don't ever call us that again. <laughs> oh, I can't remember what that <laughs> So what was it like being stuck with the nutcase? It wasn't that bad, actually. Aww. That was nice. That was a good episode in my gun life. And I need this to turn down a little bit. There you go. This was a good episode. I like this a lot. This has probably been it's like my new favorite episode. And this was fun. I didn't expect this to be so good. They would have the plushie of that new guy. Wow, that's insane. Yeah, I can't wait for next episode to come out. This was amazing. This is safety will safety off the way. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Remember you can always unsubscribe data if you don't enjoy my content or if you don't enjoy me as a person. That's completely fine. And if there's anything else you want me to do on the channel, let me know in the comments down below. And remember to join the Discord server and my Twitch, both link down in the description. And remember, you matter in this world. There's always someone who loves and cares about you. No matter what you're going through, no matter how hard it is, just remember, you are loved and appreciated. Be happy, stay happy. See all you lovely people next time. Later, bucket, orange.